Hello and welcome to Squarespace Tutorials with Jake Jorgovan. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a blog post on your Squarespace site. But I'm not just going to be showing you how to create a blog post, I'm going to be showing you how to create a blog post the right way. I see a lot of people screwing up how they build their blog posts and how they set this up. And this can be a huge problem in the long run if you don't start doing this correctly on the front end. So what I want to show you today here is that we're on this, my, my website, jakejorgovan.com. And if we scroll down here, we'll see that there is this blog option. And uh, on my site, it says blog, but really this can be called whatever you want. So it could be news, it could be updates, it could be anything. Um, but what this is really categorized, a blog on Squarespace, you'll be able to recognize it when you see this little A icon here in the left. And this little A icon means that what you have is a blog. And if you need to create a blog or start one new, or if you don't have a blog set up, you're going to go down here to this Add Page section right here. And you go to Add Page, and you go to Add Blog. And that will let you build a blog if you don't already have one on your site. But I want to really clearly point out that this is not how you create a new blog post every time. This is how you create a blog the very first time. What I see a lot of people do is go in here and add a new blog every single time that they want to create a new blog post. And with Squarespace, there is a very big difference between adding a blog and adding a blog post. When you're adding a new blog, you're creating a whole new RSS feed, a whole new section of your website every time you do this. So what you really want to do is once you have your blog set up, you don't ever want to add another one. Instead, what you want to do, oops, discard that. Instead, what you want to do is just simply click on this blog that you already have created and you want to add a new post. And it doesn't matter if they're in different, you know, what you're talking about is in different areas, different categories. You want to create everything under one blog. And you can simply separate that and categorize it later if, through the categories and tag features we have. But if we want to create a new blog post, what we're going to do is we're going to click on our blog over here, and then we're going to come up here and go to Add Post. And what it does is it brings up this little page editor window where you can create your blog post. And I'm just going to say this is an example of a Squarespace blog post. And then here, it's just like the page editor in Squarespace. Here I can add content. I can then go here and I can use the plus icons and I can add any of these blocks. I can add images, galleries, videos, quotes, uh, any of those features that you have within building just a Squarespace page is also available within a Squarespace blog post. So we can feel free to add those pictures or forms or newsletter signups or anything that we want in a blog post as well. And we have that basically all that ability to add content. Then we're going to come down here and we have the ability to add tags. So maybe my tags I want to add are uh, Squarespace tutorials. And tags are really, they're used in multiple ways. You can use them to categorize things on your website. Um, but you can also use this. This is a great place to plug in data and information for Google. Google will look at these as keywords and say that that makes that article relevant for search. So Squarespace tutorials, how to create a blog post in Squarespace. These are all things that people may be searching for in order to find this blog post. And then last, I want to add a category. And maybe I'll add and create a new category for Squarespace. And categories are kind of like your bigger picture things. They are themes. You know, maybe tutorials is a category, or Squarespace, or WordPress is a category for my blog. Um, so these down here, you know, the tags, again, um, you can fill those with as many as you want. And then categories, you generally have maybe one or two categories that it falls within. Uh, but you put all this information in here. You create your blog post, add more content. And then before you publish, you don't want to save and publish yet. 
you want to come over here to the Options tab. And one thing you definitely want to do before ever publishing a blog post is upload a thumbnail image. So here we will upload a thumbnail image and we'll pick this drawing that I did and we're just going to upload a thumbnail image and every single blog post you ever put up should have a thumbnail image because if it's embedded on social media um, it's put on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, anywhere thumbnail images make it much more visually appealing and it also makes it look better on your website as well so we've now uploaded that thumbnail image here for the site and then the other thing we want to do is add an excerpt and an excerpt is basically your short description of the site. So this is the excerpt for the Squarespace site. And here you basically um, put any sort of short description. And again, this is going to would be what pops up on the uh, feed of your blog. But it's also going to pop up anywhere that your site or your blog post is embedded on social media like Facebook or Twitter again. And then the that should be really everything you need to do. You have a few other options. If you want to tag a location, um, so if you're traveling or a travel blogger, you can put a location with your blog post. And the last thing is you have the opportunity to push it to social. So if you have connected social media accounts, you can choose to publish this or not publish this to those specific social media accounts. And this will automatically push that update out there. So once we are done with all that, I'll double check that I have a thumbnail image, I have an excerpt, I have a title, a blog post, I've done my tags and my categories, and now I'm going to hit save and publish. And if we go here now and we view my blog, What you'll see here is this is an example of a Squarespace blog post is the first thing that shows up. Here is my thumbnail image and then notice it says this is an excerpt of a Squarespace of the Squarespace site, which is the excerpt that I had typed in. And I hit read more. And now here it is here I can add content or I can add more content. And there we have it that is a properly set up Squarespace blog post. So if you're needing to add blog posts to your site, this is how you do it. This is the process. Uh, if you need any other help or have questions on building your Squarespace site, you can reach out to me at jake-jorgovin.com slash Squarespace.